This website right here makes over $200,000 every single month and I guarantee you that you've used it before but you had no idea how much money it's actually generating. This is tiny URL, one page, barely any design. But here's what's absolutely insane. 40 million people visit this site every month and they're making like $5 for every thousand visitors just from these little Google ads that you see running in the background. And that's it. No products to sell, no customer service needed, no inventory, just pure passive income flowing in 24 seven. Now here's the thing, I have literally zero coding experience. I can barely figure out how to change my Wi-Fi password. But I just discovered this one AI tool that's about to do all the technical heavy lifting for me. And in the next 15 minutes, you and I were going to build our own version of this exact same money making website. We're going to let AI handle all the coding. We're going to connect it to Google AdSense so we can start earning passive income and even add Stripe for yes, premium features. So that by the end of this video, you and I were gonna have a live website that could potentially generate passive income while we're sleeping. And the best part, if I can do this with zero technical skills, I know you can too. Important disclaimer, building websites and making money online is not easy, despite what other YouTubers are saying. When I show you how to build a website, I'm demonstrating the technical process and the potential. I am not guaranteeing your results. These AI tools are legit and the techniques do work, but success depends on your execution, your timing and honestly some luck. Most websites don't make money immediately and many don't make money at all. So I'm not promising you'll get rich or quit your job, no. This isn't financial advice or a get rich quick scheme. I'm just showing you what's possible with these tools. What you do with that knowledge is entirely up to you. All right, expectations set. Let's continue to building the websites. All right, so every great URL shortener starts with one thing, and that's simplicity, the ability to paste a long link and then get a clean, short version instantly, no login, no clutter, just one click. And that's exactly what we're building here. This is going to be the foundation of the app, so it needs to be fast, reliable, and easy for anyone to use right out of the box. So here's what we're going to ask Replit. Build a clean, responsive web app that allows users to paste a long URL and then get a shortened version instantly. No sign up required for this core feature. Shortened links should never expire and redirect properly. Display the shortened link clearly with a copy button. All right, so right off the bat, the homepage is generated with a simple focused layout. Right here at the center, there's an input field where users can paste any long URL. And after clicking the shortened button, the app creates a shortened link on the spot using a hash generator. The link never expires and uses dynamic routing to ensure users are always redirected correctly. The shortened link appears right below with a copy button right next to it. And when clicked, it simply copies the link to the clipboard and then shows a quick visual confirmation so users know that it actually worked. Now, but here's where we notice something where the shortened link ends up being longer than expected. And of course, that's not ideal. All right, so you just built an amazing website with AI. But here's the thing most people forget. If you want to actually make money from it, you need to set up your business properly. That's where Doula comes in. Because look, I've been there. You build this incredible site and maybe it's making a few thousand a month. But then you realize you have no legal protection and taxes are a nightmare. Doula handles all the boring business stuff so you can focus on what you do best building. They'll set up your LLC, get you an EIN, they'll handle your registered agent, and they'll even help with business banking. It's literally everything you need to turn your website projects into a real business. I wish I had known about Doula when I started because dealing with all that paperwork all by myself was honestly a pain. Now, these guys make it simple. You just answer a few questions and then they handle the rest. So we've partnered with Doula to make it super easy to launch your own business. 
So visit Doula with the link in the description below and use the code Mikey, M-I-K-E-Y, at checkout to claim an immediate 10% discount on your plan because trust me, future you will thank you for getting this sorted now instead of dealing with a mess when you're actually making real money. So let's go back into Replit and tell the AI, take a different approach to guarantee that it works. Look at the resulting link. It is much longer than the original one. And the system, all on its own, updates the logic, replacing the original hashing method with a more efficient base 62 encoding system. This change makes every shortened URL cleaner and more compact while still keeping them unique. And we're also going to tweak the route handler to smooth out redirect behavior and run tests on both desktop and mobile just to make sure everything works consistently across all devices. And now we've got a solid user-friendly shortening flow. It's fast, it's clean, and ready for real world use. Okay, so given that our basic link shortening is already in place, our next step is customization. Branded links aren't just easier to remember, they're more trustworthy and they just look better in campaigns. And when you pair that with QR codes, the link becomes usable across both digital and physical spaces. So that's exactly what we're going to build here next. Now, to add both custom aliases and QR codes, we're just gonna tell the AI, add an option for users to customize the second half of the shortened URL. For example, tiny.io slash mycustomlink. Validate uniqueness and handle collisions gracefully. Also generate a downloadable QR code for each shortened URL that links to the target page. Okay, so this feature gives users full control over their links. So instead of a random hash, they can now enter their own custom alias. The app checks for availability in real time, and if the alias is already taken, it displays a clear error and then prompts the user me to try something else. No duplicates, no broken redirects. Alongside each short link, the app also now automatically generates a high resolution QR code. Now this appears right on the results page, along with a small preview thumbnail and a short caption to help users understand what the code links to. Okay, so the QR code can be downloaded directly, right? And it's optimized for both screen and print. So that's easy to drop into flyers or slides or product packaging even. QRs are powered by a lightweight third-party library. So generation of the QR is fast and performance stays smooth. And with this feature, the app becomes far more than just a digital tool. It's now ready to support real world distribution too. Now that we've got the core shortening and customization in place, what's next? Well, it's time to make the experience more personal. Power users, especially marketers and creators, well, they need a space where they can manage everything in just one place. And that means user accounts, a private dashboard, and support for bulk shortening when campaigns need scale. So to build that system, we're gonna go back to Replit and say, add user account functionality with signup, login, and password recovery. Logged in users should have access to a dashboard showing all their shortened links. Include options to edit aliases, delete links, and view link stats. Also, support bulk URL shortening. Paste multiple URLs and generate them all at once. Okay, so right after that, our users can now register with a standard email and password combination and log in securely. After logging in, they're now taken to their own personal dashboard. And from here, they can see everything, every link they've ever created, and they're all organized and easy to search or filter through. And each entry in their dashboard includes options to edit the aliases, delete the link entirely, or view detailed stats. And for users managing multiple campaigns all at once, there's also a bulk shortening feature that lets them paste in a whole list of URLs and then generate all the short versions at the same time, which is very fast and scalable. 
After testing the functionality, we can see here that the default UI wasn't really doing this feature justice. So we're just going to give the front end a full upgrade by telling Replit, use React to improve the front end. The UI slash UX of the app is terrible. Look at how the website looks, make improvements. And with that, you can see our app is now migrating to a React based front end and redesigned using Material UI. We now have a clean, responsive layout with a lot better organization, contextual tooltips, modals for editing links, and a modern navigation bar. Everything feels smoother and easier to use across all screen sizes. Right now, managing links goes from a manual task to a fully streamlined workflow. Shortening a link is only half the story. Knowing what happens after someone clicks is where the real value comes in. Marketers, creators, and business owners need to see exactly how their links are performing. So now we're going to build a full analytic system that tracks every single click and turns that into actionable insight. So to get that started, we're going to ask Replit, track every click on shortened links, collect and display analytics, including total clicks, geographic location, referrer, device type, and time of access. Each link should have a view stats page showing real-time updates and visualize metrics such as bar charts or pie charts. Okay, so after that, the app starts logging events the moment a shortened link is clicked. So for each one, it captures the total number of clicks, where those clicks are coming from geographically, and which websites refer to the user. Also, the device and browser type used and the exact time the access occurred. All of that is displayed visually inside a dedicated stats page for each link. Everything updates dynamically so users can track performance in real time and adjust their strategy as needed. So if something looks off like the page stretching or overflowing, we can simply go back and also say, why is it expanding? And with that one line, that quick question, that quickly triggers a layout fix. The data tables are wrapped in scrollable containers to prevent overflow, and the chart widths are capped so everything renders consistently, no matter the screen size. All right, now each shortened URL is a live data source, giving our users a clear view of performance and helping them make smarter real-time decisions. At this point, the app already delivers a lot of value for free, but some users will need more. Power features like full analytics history, custom branding, of course, and unlimited usage are ideal for professionals and businesses. And to unlock those, we're going to add a Stripe-based subscription so users can upgrade seamlessly. And to set that up, we're going to tell Replit, Integrate Stripe for premium user subscriptions. Premium users can get access to advanced analytics, branded links, higher shortening limits, and bulk QR code exports. Use Stripe Checkout for billing and include a dashboard page where users can manage their subscription. And after that, Stripe Checkout gets integrated directly into the app allowing for both recurring subscriptions and one-time purchases as well. So after a payment goes through, our users are automatically upgraded. They will receive a premium badge on their profile and of course gain access to features that go far beyond what's offered in the free tier. Premium accounts now include unlimited link shortening, full analytics history, and not just seven days, the ability to use a custom domain with branded links, access to bulk QR code exports, and priority support. And after testing the flow, we noticed here that post checkout users land on a blank or default page. That's not right. So we're going to have to prompt the AI again with something like this. We got redirected to this page after a successful subscription. Make sure to redirect to the dashboard and add a premium badge. And doing that fixes the issue. Now, after completing payment, users are routed straight back to their own personal dashboard. A success message confirms the upgrade, the premium badge appears instantly, and access to premium-only tools is unlocked without any delay. 
the app now has a reliable path for monetization, which definitely offers real value for users who need more, while keeping the upgrade process smooth and secure. Lastly, to support ongoing growth and offer a free version without really having to compromise on our revenue, we're going to add Google AdSense banners throughout the app. And the goal here is quite simple, monetize free to your users without disrupting the user experience and ensuring that our premium users still get a clean ad-free interface. To do that, we will go ask the AI, add Google AdSense banner ads to the free tier version of the app, place ads on the homepage, the dashboard, and shorten link result pages. Ads should be responsive and styled to match the app UI. Do not show ads to premium users. And with that, Google AdSense is now integrated by inserting ad containers directly into our app's layout. Our ads appear in key areas like the homepage, the dashboard, and link result pages, but only for users on the free tier. Our premium users are automatically excluded. The ads are also styled to blend into the UI, use responsive containers and padding that keep the layout clean across screen sizes. And after all features are complete, we deploy the app publicly via Replit. The AdSense snippet is added and the site is redeployed. Then we are going to verify the domain ownership in the Google AdSense dashboard and submit the site for manual review. And once approved, the banners will begin rendering live, and we're going to continue to monitor the ad impressions and click performance through the AdSense dashboard. Now, this approach generates passive income from non-premium users while still keeping the experience fully ad-free for those, of course, who upgrade. So we're balancing monetization with user satisfaction. All right, congrats, there you have it. We have completely built a fully featured AI-generated URL shortener inspired by TinyURL brought to life entirely in Replit. So from instant link creation and custom aliases to QR codes, user dashboards, deep analytics, Stripe-powered premium features, let me catch my breath, and AdSense monetization, this isn't just a simple app. It's become scalable, production-ready SaaS product built step by step using natural language prompt. And if this walkthrough helped you out in any way whatsoever, please do hit that like button and drop a comment letting me know what kind of tool you want to build next. It really helps out the channel, especially when I hear from you. So don't forget to subscribe for more full stack AI builds just like this. Trust me, I've got more coming and you don't want to miss just even one. I'll see you at the next one though. And thank you for spending your time with me today.